G'day, I'm Kevin. I've retired from work here in Australia and am living the dream in Thailand. Travelling, relaxing, exploring and learning. Based here in Chiang Mai, the adventure continues. This is 52 Weeks. Hello, I am in Chiang Kong and the reason I'm here is because tomorrow morning I'm crossing the border to Laos. Uh, I can actually see the border from here. <laughs> that way is the Mekong River and on the other side of it is Hoi Se, which is in Laos. So tomorrow I am uh, crossing the border and spending some time in Laos, beginning with two days on uh, a slow boat ride to uh, Pak Bing first and then Luang Prabang. Okay, it's the next day. Uh, I am over the border. I am travelling with my friend Bob, uh, who I met when we were doing language school together, struggling with the Thai language. I struggle more than he does. <laughs> well, I, I struggle quite a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, but we made it across the border. That was quite easy. Uh, it only took us a, about a half hour to get from checking out of Thailand to checking into Laos. So. Uh, this is my first visit here, but Bob's been here many times. What do you actually like about Laos, Bob? A couple of things. It's it's very, very relaxing. Uh, Thai have a, a slow pace of life, but Lao is okay, even more so. It's okay, we will come down in a minute. We will come down in a minute. Plus, it's also... It's okay. It's a, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, plus, it's, it's also the truest form of Buddhism that I found in Laos. More than, much, much more than Thai. And different than, than Vietnam. Well, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it, and I'm glad to have you guiding me through the process. <laughs> so, we're going to go and have some coffee now. Let's go have some coffee. <laughs> As it turns out, Bob and I are the only two passengers on this cruise boat. <laughs> so we have a private trip down to Luang Prabang. Just the two of us, the crew and the guide. I must say I'm getting into relax mode. It's a bit of rain at the moment, but that's okay. It's really quite nice, it's cool, nice breezes, lots of water in the river because it's wet season, so plenty of water around. Looks like being a good trip to me.
สบายดีสบายดีโยโย่To Pat Beng. It was a really nice day, actually. Uh, quiet cruising along the river, watching the world go by. Uh, stopped off at a village to have a have a wander around, and uh, then had lunch back on board. And then uh, here to Pat Beng, where we're overnighting. We're staying at the Grand, or Le Grand. Which lives up to its name. It's out of town a bit, uh, so we're probably not going into town tonight. We're having dinner here, which is included as part of the package. So we'll probably just have an overnight here and then uh, head back down to the boat tomorrow. Yeah, a really good day, and uh, looking forward to tomorrow.
and so the second day begins had a really nice night last night beautiful views of the river as you've probably seen by now and a little bit of rain last night we've got the plastic up at the moment but uh, plastic down at the moment but it's just being put up now so looks like being another nice lazy day on the river This is a very relaxing experience. Just uh, gently moving along the river. Had a bit of rain this morning and the uh, plastic shields went down, but that was quite nice too. Just lounged on one of the couches and had a kip and listened to the rain falling and the engine purring and uh, the water lapping by. So this trip in the rainy season is pretty good. I mean, I think it'd be a good trip at any time, but it's nice cool breezes coming through and uh, not quite as crowded. <laughs> Just Bob and I and the crew. <laughs> yeah, so it's well worth doing the trip um, in any time, I would say, but uh, don't worry about wet season, it's quite a pleasant experience even in the rain. So Bob, we're about uh, three quarters of the way through our journey. Yes. Pity. Really, Pity. Yeah, yeah. I've really enjoyed it. So relaxing. Yes. And the food is all right? Oh, uh, the food is wonderful. People are great. And then, you know, being able to kind of kick back, I, I've called it my Mekong meditation. Yes. Wonderful. I did enjoy my nap in the rain this morning. <laughs> it's listening to the rain kind of hit the plastic next to me and just drifting off. It was very yeah. nice. I did that too and then you woke up before me. I ended up sleeping a little bit longer and the plastic was still there when I got up. <laughs> I, I went down to the pointy end and watched the, watched the river go by after a while. 
Uh, I think there's a song there watching that river go by. It probably is, but I might fall into copyright concerns. <laughs> Plus drive the audience away if I start singing. <laughs> so we're headed to Pacquiao Caves next. Pacquiao Cave, we've got a, one of the rail lines coming up that we're gonna go under. There's, there's two, this one's more conventional. We'll get to the high-speed rail train once we get past Pacquiao. Alrighty. We better relax a little before we get there. Oh God, we wouldn't want to exert ourselves. <laughs> That's high water. Mm -hmm. 66, that's how I'm not born. I stay in the heaven. 66, I was still in high school. Oh. day cruise down the Mekong from Boise to Luang Prabang. I must say I really enjoyed it. It was well worth doing. Uh, I've had it on my list <laughs> since 2019 so <laughs> I finally got to it. 
and it was a great trip um, just so relaxing kind of traveling along the river um, we had our kind of lunch provided the food was great and the people were really lovely um, so that was uh, Shampoo Cruises Shampoo uh, yeah great I'd recommend it highly as I say quite a quite a relaxing experience great way to get to the one Prabang um, yeah and uh, right from uh, we crossed the border and there was somebody waiting there for us to help us organize our visa on arrival which was a very easy process um, and then they just whacked us on a on a mini bus and took us to the boat and uh, once everybody was on the boat <laughs> both of us uh, off we went yeah so Bob and I had the boat to ourselves really and uh, it was uh, low season so not as many tourists around uh, which I suspect is why we had the uh, boat to ourselves um, but yeah that just added to it we could wander around the boat didn't have to worry about anybody grab a coffee or a green tea whenever we wanted um, yeah and as I say the people were lovely uh, and it was just really nice watching the the life on the river go by and uh, you know sufficient stops to to uh, stretch our legs so there was a we went to a Mong village on the first day and then on the second day we went to the Pakao Caves and the um, village where they make the rice whiskey <laughs> so and yes I got some rice whiskey <laughs> uh, some of it was pretty strong I didn't get the real strong one but uh, yeah all in all a great trip so we're here in Luang Prabang, it's actually the next morning we got off the boat and kind of got whisked away to our hotel uh, and settled in there and we were pretty tired so we just went for a wander through the night market, grabbed some dinner and called it a night. So now the adventure in Luang Prabang begins and we will catch you next time. Thanks for joining me on my travels, I really appreciate your company. Now. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video and are not subscribed, you might like to consider doing so by clicking here. Or, if you just want to see something else I've made, click here for something you might like. And if you're really looking for a binge, click here and that will take you to one of my playlists. Hope to see you again soon.